all right um welcome everyone so um good day this is ajax yeah the ceo of ajax tutorials now let's look at let's just summarize projectiles now projectile motion simply means when you launch a body fluid in space right and i told you we have two cases of projectile motion don't forget that so we have when it's launched at an angle to the horizontal right so this is actually your what x axis i believe we're clear all right let's look at this so um what am i going to talk about here now this is okay take note that the part in which a projectile moves is called the what a trajectory it's called the word a trajectory let's take note of this very, very important point now when a body is launched freely in space many people just think oh you can just launch it vertically upward but that's wrong actually we have two ways of launching it you can launch it vertically upward and horizontally downward so that's what we're going to look at in this video all right so welcome to ajax tutorials once again now if a body is launched vertically upwards u of y u of y is your initial vertical velocity when you are when you are dealing with projectile motion basically your business should be with vertical velocities not even your horizontal velocity are we clear your business should be what your vertical what velocity so your u of y is equal to u sine theta remember this is more like the um the component do you get it so this is the vertical component of your initial velocity so u of y is u sine theta right and a is negative g but that's not your business actually just for knowledge sake now this is your business we have t maximum t maximum is the time taken from point of launching to your maximum height so this is your maximum height so t maximum is actually from here to here now that's u sine theta over g do you get it your business should just be to this formula do you understand as i said this is not your business u sine theta over, what? over g i believe i'm clear now your time of flight is actually from here to here do you get it so time of flight is actually the time taken in for the whole projectile motion and it's the same thing as two motor your maximum height the reason is because neglecting air resistance take note of this neglecting air resistance the time to go up same time to come down so if the time to go up yeah is five the time to come down from here down is still what five do you get it so the total time of flight is 10 i believe we're clear now your h maximum is actually your maximum height so this is your what your height all right so it's u sin theta u sin squared theta u square sin squared theta over 2g sorry so take note if you want to do sin squared theta for example, sine squared 30 degrees is equal to sine 30 times sine what 30. And what is sine 30? 1 over 2 over 1 over 2. That's 1 over 4. That's 0.25. Do you get it? Alright, so let's move on. 1 over 4 actually. Now, your arrow is your what? Range. Your horizontal range. That's what I want to look about. That will, that's what I want to talk about very well. Your range, most of them just cram this formula, but they don't know how it was derived u squared sine 2 theta over g it's correct yes but some questions can be tricky mostly my questions do you get it mostly jam questions and post me questions and a level questions do you get what i'm saying so they won't really go straight to the point do you understand so you have to understand the concept of range are we clear now this your range eh, is actually this place you know we have what distance is equal to speed times time or should i say speed is what distance over what time do you get it now your distance is actually your speed multiplied by time that's what this range simply means your range is equal to your, your speed that's your velocity multiplied by time and our range is actually horizontal so the velocity we'll be talking about here is your what your horizontal velocity u of x which is u cos theta i believe you are clear so u of x multiplied by your what your time of flight because range is from year to year so it's actually the distance from year to year so it is your velocity multiplied your in um horizontal velocity taking that multiplied by the total time of the projection that is your what your time of flight that's two u centimeter of what g as i'm talking just make sure you are jotting down because i'm saying very very important things now u squared if you if you um we treated this in class actually if you use some trig ratio if you use some trig identity sorry we're getting u squared sine 2 theta over g it simply means um sine 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to sine 2 theta so take note of this trig identity actually 
two sides that cause that is equal to what sine two theta. So I don't want to prove that. All right. So take note also that at maximum height, your theta is equals ninety, and at maximum range, your theta is forty five. So maximum range is u squared over g. Take note, maximum range, horizontal range, um, maximum height. They are all measured in meters, and obviously time is second. So let's look at this case too. Now, when a body is launched from a particular height, when a body is launched from a particular height. So I did not draw this. This is actually this is actually straight. So this is your what? U of x, your initial horizontal velocity. So you see, I'm launching this down, right? It's still launching. Oh, I'm launching. Do you get it? So I'm launching this down. So it's moving in a what? In um in a parabolic motion actually. Yeah, moving a parabolic motion. It's still projectile motion. So that's I don't just limit your mind to this. Now let's look at something interesting. U of y is zero. I believe you know that when a body is thrown horizontally downward, u is what zero. When a body is thrown vertically upward, v is zero. So that's what it simply means. Do you understand? That's motion under gravity. So we have no business with x, u of x. That's why we just say u, 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 u. But now I want to be specific. So u of y equals zero, and a is positive g. Do you get it? Why? Because it is going with gravity. It is not a um, opposing gravity. So take note of that. Hence, at maximum height, your u is equal to u cos theta. The reason is because, since at maximum height here, u of y is zero, and now we know that u is equal to u squared is equal to u of x squared plus u of y squared. Since this guy now is zero, it simply means u is equal to u of x, which is equal to what u cos theta. So do you get it? That's very important. Um point to note so let's move on your u of x is equals what is constant yeah your, your u of x is constant actually try the motion so u of x is constant that's another thing to note and u of y is zero like i said before and now u of y is zero as just the maximum height here but as it goes it varies so take note your initial in vertical velocity varies and your um initial horizontal velocity is what constant u of x constant u of y what varies let's take note of that and acceleration is zero that's a of x a of x is equals zero a of x equals what zero take note of this very, very important now r equals s equals u, u t plus half it square this is actually equation of motion remember um v equals u plus a t s equals u t plus half it squared v squared equals u squared plus two s that's actually equations of what motion now your s that you are seeing there this your s is measured in meters it's still same as your range do you get it same as your what your range so it's u of x multiplied by t u of x multiplied by what t t is your time of flight but in this case the time of flight in this case is just see time of flight is just total time of projection do you get it so this is your time of flight do you get me so u of x divided by what t now the reason this formula came down to this was because a is zero remember a of x is zero like i said um t is your time of motion so that's all about projectiles motion just make sure you take note of every single thing very 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 important and yeah if you are not in ajax tutorials and you're watching this video for the first time you can check the number over there and what enroll in our intensive what classes our classes are online for now and yeah, it's more effective than some on, than some physical tutorials so make sure you enroll in ajax tutorials and yeah if you want to make inquiries about ajax tutorials just message that number on whatsapp and yeah thank you very much and i met ajax